Welcome back to Milwaukee News Now. I'm Kristen Parisi with your sports update. Let's begin with the school donning the blue and gold over at Marquette University. After a three-game road trip, the women's basketball team returns home to kick off Big East play tonight against Xavier. Guard Jordan King is posting her career best marks for Marquette. In the past three contests, King is averaging 14.7 points and 5.7 rebounds per game. Under head coach Megan Duffy, the Golden Eagles are 27-9 in Big East action. Marquette was picked to finish fourth in the conference's preseason poll. Moving over to the women's volleyball program. After losing to Creighton in the Big East championship game, the team earned an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament to face Dayton out of the Atlantic 10 Conference. The Golden Eagles fell to the Flyers in four sets yesterday afternoon. Savannah Rennie led the team with 14 kills. Marquette ends their season with a 26-6 overall record and 16-2 Big East play. And finally, the men's basketball program is off to its best start since the 2011-2012 season with a 7-1 record under first-year head coach Shaka Smart. Marquette is coming off an 84-53 win Tuesday night against Jackson State and now prepares for a showdown against its in-state rival Wisconsin tomorrow up in Madison. Guard Darren Morsell is currently second on the team and 11th in the Big East in scoring at 15.3 points per game. We'll be right back after this break. Live from the Milwaukee News Now studio, I'm Kristen Parisi with a severe weather update. The southeast region of the United States is reeling after yet another hurricane has devastated Louisiana and the surrounding states. The picture on the screen shows a satellite view of the massive Hurricane Anthony before it made landfall early yesterday morning. The most affected area in the region was New Orleans, highlighted on this state map in red. This is clearly not the first cyclone that has ravaged the Big Easy, with Hurricane Katrina and Harvey laying waste to the city in the last 20 years. Here are some of the shocking photos of the wreckage of the storm, including this aerial shot of the residential area that remains flooded. While most people evacuated their homes before the storm hit, numerous rescue missions have already been undertaken to extract residents from roofs. This final picture showcases the famous New Canal Lighthouse in the early stages of the hurricane, with whipping winds and crashing waves soon to make landfall. The death toll so far has reached 20, and area hospitals announced they are already at max capacity. When we come back from break, Kaylee Sar will have your latest Daily with Kaylee. Good evening and welcome to The Daily with Kaylee. I'm Kaylee Starl and tonight we have a special report. An investigative journalism class at Marquette University analyzed 435 Milwaukee County search warrant requests by police in 2019. I'm here to walk you through some of their findings about drug-related crime in Milwaukee starting now. Hundreds of unique incidents about drug-related crime. They share more in common than you may think. Take a look here at this map of Milwaukee County zip codes. Around 92% of all searches were done in the actual city of Milwaukee and not a suburb. Specifically, the analysis revealed that these three zip codes had the highest number of searches. 53206, 53209, and 53212. As you can see, these zip codes all fall north of the Milwaukee downtown. And between these three zip codes, almost 72% of the population is black. Compare that to Oak Creek, a suburb where only 12 searches were requested. Only around 3% of the population is black. Now, what exactly are these searches looking for? Among all 435 warrant requests, 5% included painkillers, 9% meth, 51% heroin, 54% marijuana or THC, and 66% cocaine. That's almost two out of three searches included for cocaine and one out of every two for marijuana or heroin. Almost all of these search requests claim that the suspect had intent to deal or deliver these drugs. Now that class of investigative journalists at Marquette University recently went to the Milwaukee Courthouse to analyze the actual findings of these warrants. We'll have more information once we know more. I'm Kaylee Starl. Good night, Milwaukee.